Six summer is here. It is day zero. Everybody's going through tech. This is making sure that they are street cars. They got turn signals and horns and brake lights. So once they get through this, that's the physical part. They'll get their windshield banners. They pick up their t-shirts. They start getting into test mode because they'll be testing this afternoon. So they're going to try and get testing in because I mean, most of us, we never get the test passes that we need. So literally we show up to the event with the car barely running and we plan to get our test passes on day zero. And then tomorrow morning, everything starts. Please have everything out and ready for tech when you get to the staging lane. Additionally, I have a silver Ford Super Duty. Never mind, we found it. Thank you. You're going to see this video tomorrow morning. So while it's tomorrow morning, get your ass here to Byron. Watch the racing. Racing starts at 8 in the morning. 8 or 9 in the morning goes till like 3. So you got to call off sick. Tuesday, June 11th, that's where we're at Cordova, Illinois. So got to be sick that day too. Make sure you're in Cordova, watch the racing, hang out. It is the coolest experience of drag racing because you get to freely walk the pits. There are no rigs. There are no toters. There are no RVs. There, there's nowhere for these guys to hide. Literally, they are right there. Doesn't matter if it's Alex Taylor or Cletus McFarland. Doesn't matter who it is. They are literally right there for you to walk up and talk to and harass and as Ricky would say, you can sweat them because they have nowhere to go to hide from the sweaters. And you know what the sweater is? A sweater is the person that comes up to them while they're in the middle of changing the head gasket and asks them a question about a YouTube video they did three months ago. That's a sweater. Don't be a sweater, but you can be a looker and look at them, watch them work. June 11th, Tri-State, Tri-State, Iowa. It is the coolest little track in the middle of nowhere, all out of concrete. So if you're anywhere within 500 miles of it, you should call in sick that day, get to the track, watch the racing, 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. Thursday, one of my favorite tracks ever, the Grove. So Union Grove, Wisconsin. Last year we got a capacity where they had to turn people away. So make sure you were there early. The 14th, Friday the 14th, we are back here. We start a little later, 11 o'clock, we go till five. That's the only day it's a later start. So you can actually go to work for a couple hours before you get the stomach flu and just say, I'm sick, I gotta go to sick summer. That is sick summer in a nutshell. And right now, heaven on earth. There you go. Brett LaSalle, I'm out here with Motion Raceworks on Six Summer and I'm driving the, the shop OBS delivery vehicle. It's a Crate 632 big block Chevy and uh, we're in street race, naturally aspirated big block. So uh, Vice Grip drove this car or the truck last year and this year uh, me and Jim Braun are going to drive it. And also we got Doug Cook's Nova out here. We have El Toro, the Coyote Fox body with Blaine driving it. Um, so, you know, we, we brought some cars out to uh, represent a bunch of different classes and we're just gonna have fun this week. I don't have my car out here, uh, so it should be a little less stress, I think, or maybe it's gonna be more, I'm not sure. We'll see how, we'll see how that is. But uh, I'm wishing I brought the Mustang already, but this is gonna be a uh, more relaxed week for me personally, not, you know, um, competing so competitively with, you know, with that, with that fast car. I'm still gonna compete because I think we have a chance in this class. So we're gonna be tuning on this thing all week. I started working for Motion at the beginning of the year, basically like right around sick week time. And uh, naturally, um, I'm going to come to Six Summer and we're going to be at all the events because that's uh, part, of, part of my job, right? Be out here uh, helping customers, technical support, uh, being a face of the company, uh, building the brand. So I knew it was coming. Uh, my car is apart right now, uh, refreshing the engine. And summertime in Florida is not real fun to race. Uh, it rains every day, it's really hot. So I do most of my, like, a lot of people do winter upgrades. I do summer upgrades to my car because we race mostly, like, once October hits, the car won't stop running again until June, almost like every month. So, like, right now, uh, freshening some things with the car, uh, making some improvements, some changes, and, uh, you know, be ready to rip for FL2K and then sick week next year again. So that's basically how it came about was like, we need a car to drive and naturally I was going to drive a Coyote powered Fox body because, you know, I'm the Coyote guy. And uh, Blaine last year was driving that for six weeks and had a problem with the car. They couldn't make it past first day. So, you know, he called Doug, they, they could make it out. They want a little redemption and rowdy radial with that car. So I, I gladly step aside to put him back in there um, to go win rowdy radial with that car, with that class. And, uh, you know, I'll be cruising the truck. I haven't ran it to a quarter mile yet. Last time I was out with Vice Grip, I think it was running bottom nines. Uh, since then, we changed the intake manifold to put nitrous on it because we were going to try to go eights with it. And we went out to Bradington and, and uh, we only got like one outing with it and it went fast. I think it went 580 to the eighth or something on that pass. And then coming out here, 
the well, the like with the nitrous, it wasn't a super good class for it besides dial your own. And uh, you know, to me, that wasn't. I kind of wanted to race heads up. And then you know, having to fill nitrous bottles every day didn't seem like it was going to be. I'm a turbo guy, so I was like, you know what? Let's run the NA class, and then you know, we'll spray it. You know, later on in the week because the truck's certified to go faster, and just not hand in those slips and, and get our eight second pass with with the truck, but then compete in the NA class. So uh, I think it should go bottom nines. We'll see. Um, the engine with the intake change, you know, we're tuning on a little bit because the factory tune that came with the crate engine, it's changed some because the intake changed some, but uh, it's close, so it should be fine. You know, like normally the 55 throws some kinks in it, but overall we're happy. We may make a pass on the 55 today, we may not. I still got to pack the little trailer with all the good stuff in it. Uh, it's in the big trailer right now, but we're off to a good start. So, six summer is officially here and we are ready to get it underway. Have you done anything since Joliet? Nope, since Joliet we checked bearings. All was good, so dad basically put them back in. Uh, we actually put the same oil back in. Dad is a little superstitious, so am I. And he was like, you know what? I'm going to try something new. I'm not going to clean the car like I normally do. So he didn't even totally wipe it down. Like he didn't clean wheels and stuff. And if you know dad, that's like a really big deal. Uh, so he's like, I'm going to try it. We're going to treat it like a race car. It's going to act like a race car in a good way. So <laughs> we didn't do too much. We've been uh, throwing a skate party, bathroom remodeling, painting pool decks. And this is ready to go. Hopefully. This is Mr. Richard Ruth. I mean, when you talk about 55 Chevy royalty, this is it. This guy, so in 1971, I jumped on my Schwinn and pedaled to the local theater to watch Tulane Blacktop. And this is the man that was at the gas station in Tulane Blacktop yeah. with, uh, what shirt was it? Glendale, Glendale Speed Shop. Glendale Speed Shop shirt. Yeah. And, and, and he built Tulane Blacktop, which is absolutely the finest 55 Chevy ever built. I mean, so much of the stuff we do, I guarantee that Chevy 2 back there is influenced at some, to some degree by Tulane Blacktop. Oh, this car right here, this is a late model Tulane Blacktop car. That's exactly, that's how I feel. We lived a yeah. life. Yeah, yeah, we did. Absolutely. I wouldn't have changed the thing, actually. You know, I mean, there's, a, there's some rough times in there, but that's how it worked. Well, know. and what you did, we were... When we put this car together the first year, went to Rocky Mountain Race Week, we're cruising along. And I said, you know what? She grew up watching Tulane Blacktop just like me. Yeah. And I said, we're living Tulane Blacktop. Well, we put close to 9,000 miles on that thing now. We travel all over this part oh, of the country know, racing great. that car from yeah. town to town. And I mean, we are literally Tulane because of you. I mean, what you well, guys I, did. <laughs> yeah, maybe everybody at the time though. You're from Orange County. I'm from there? Orange County, and everybody in my neighborhood had a 55 Chevy. Yeah. It was the car. One, two, Raceworks, and behind me is my 1972 Nova. Uh, this car has a lot of history with Motion Raceworks. It's really the car that, uh, it's not the car we started Motion Raceworks with, but it's one we're known for. Uh, we, in 2016, we swapped a Gen 5 LT motor uh, in this car and uh, put twin turbos on it and did a whole slew of drag and drives, eventually getting to the point where we won a lot of classes, we won a lot of races, and uh, it was a mid to low seven second car pretty consistently. Had an incident on race week in 2000. Uh, 21 I believe and uh, hit the wall with it ran out of fuel popped the motor got oil in his tires so it's been about a three-year rebuild process but the car is back out and uh, a lot of people follow along with it because we have a YouTube channel but it's back as a Gen 5 LT small block with 275 tires and leaf springs it's an all-steel car other than the hood and deck lid uh, it's just a wholesome drag and drive car and we're just excited to have it back out it should be a six second capable car this week and uh, we're just here to have fun and see what we can do with it.
giveaway for the sick you you can have an Australian Holden sitting in your driveway these things are hard to get into the US this one is here already here titled here so you can have this at home in your driveway every dollar you spend on merch gets you an entry for it there's even some stuff on there that gets you 25 entries for every dollar spent so you can get you can buy a t-shirt if you buy the right t-shirt 125 entries just for buying one t-shirt towards the sick you things awesome LS powered so it is ready to build uh, as you've probably seen some of the other stuff it does killer burnouts so like it's already like anything from Australia automatically does burnouts but they don't do straight line burnouts when you try and do a burnout in this you better be in a parking lot because it just wants to do skids not just straight burnouts because the Aussies all their stuff always wants to turn left so there you go win it giveaway ends soon bye now My name is Brian Goldstone from Osceola, Indiana. This is my 73 Javelin I've had for 38 years. And um, well, it's um, last time out we had a few issues and we think we fixed them by changing the whole engine. So we're hoping that that does it. Um, this is back to the same form it was when we were at sick week earlier this year. So it's pretty much, it's pretty much ready to go. We're gonna make a hit here today, probably take it, I don't know, 3.30 or 8th mile, depending how I feel. And, just make sure everything's going good but we ended up struggling all week changing the engine because i had a dry decked engine and the hoses you can't see them in the back of the engine i punctured one it was like a major ordeal but it should be easier to change an engine in one of these kind of chassis cars but the engine's set back and just makes everything a pain so yeah so i don't know man i, I think i need to stretch the wheel well in this car to make it easier to work on but yeah, i don't know we're, we're here we're go try to win it again yeah, you won it last time and uh, what you got the same co-pilot back yep got rob sanders back to help me this is his his week that he takes off for me and um paid vacation for him because there's nothing but you know fun in this car so yeah so yeah it's it's it should be a exciting week so hopefully um we'll see what everybody puts down and we'll see what we have to run to stay up at the top
Bobby. This is Uncle Sam. Last time you saw me, we were in Joliet uh, for the NHRA Route 66 Nationals, but now we're here at um, Byron Dragway for Sick Summer 2024. Uh, my last pass in the car was a 714. I think I'm going over to Tunup. I can change a few things and clean it up and hopefully get back into the sixes. My goal for this week is to just finish the week with a low seven, high six second average. Um, I got my dad here with me doing his first drag and drive right over there. And uh, Hey dad, hey, how's it going? my dad, Todd Taylor. Um, we're doing our first drag and drive together and we're just trying to finish the week and having a good time. live stream this thing was epic and sick week they got the jumbotron back it is epic freedom plus is a place you got to watch it they got drones going there's multiple camera views this is the best edited drag and drive drag race period actually that is put on there's six guys on cameras to give you multiple different views there's replays there's all kinds of stuff oh you can rewind it now too freedom plus has rewind hey how far can you rewind freedom plus now you can rewind but how far 
To the beginning of time, not even just our event. You can actually go back to the beginning of time, Adam Dory said. Like, somehow, when you were bored, you can get all the way back to there. Just kidding. There is rewind, so now you can pause and rewind, so you can get the highlights of it. So if you need to stop it or you got to actually work for a second, send out an email, pause it, catch back up again. But it is epic. You need to watch it. Get Freedom Plus. And if you're a subscriber, you already got your code, so you're all set. Just watch it. It's free for you subscribers to sick the magazine if not hey spend a couple bucks get the best live stream possible all the way all the way it'll, i said to rewind time, all the way until you're a baby until you're a baby exactly so, before like, even video existed you can rewind back to it it's gonna be great my name is brayden i 3d print things for my store i sell them i make this on my farm i live on a farm and yeah just trying to sell this stuff and I want to get more materials and all that so I can make more things. So we got this little kitty cat game, Cat Ninjas. You can try to stack the cats as high as you can without them toppling over. Or we have the Bird Donald's Bird Feeder. Can't call it McDonald's because of copyright reasons. But over here at this side we have these little coasters tickle your fancy or we have these funnels that work great with driven racing oil and that beast right back there but these funnels work great at doing fast jobs with race cars and then we have these for the uh, cigarette plugs so you put them in there to look cool if you want your car to look all like James Bond and you look up to him buy those and if you're getting a hand cramp use this little sick device Whitaker from Whiteland, Indiana. This is Six Summer 2024. We're at Byron, Byron Drag Race. Um, we're with my green Monte Carlo known as Greenie. She's uh, big, fat, and uh, full of a lot of horsepower from Steve Morris. Uh, brought my daughter, Elena. She's uh, riding with me and uh, probably going to drive on the uh, street drive a little bit. She needs to handle 4,500 horsepower at 23 years old. I think you ought to give um, every child a lot of horsepower in a big, fat car. It's just good parenting. to 24 so running a 24 we're real happy with what we've done i think she's uh, got this figured out it's pretty easy you just bring your daughter and she'll fix all your problems don't you yeah. she's all right
folks, that is a wrap on testing day zero. Everything everybody did today doesn't count for shit because tomorrow is when it really starts. So there's people made three, four runs, there's people made one run, people made two runs. There's a lot of struggle busting going on. And I think the fastest run we saw today was from Alan Whitaker, like a 724, I believe. Oh, Brian ran 7-0. Oh, did Brian run 7-0? So we didn't even see a six second pass today. Everybody is going to let it hang out tomorrow because tomorrow is when it counts. So all they're doing, messing with short time, seeing that everything's there and that their car's gonna run and their turn signals work and horn honks and all that crazy crap. But tomorrow it's for real. Tomorrow is day one. Byron Dragway, be here or be square. Right, don't be a square. You just wanna get here, be sick.